What you guys got another video here for you on how to download and install Office 2021. If you're looking to get yourself Office 2021, Microsoft don't make it easy on how to download and install it. So I thought I'd make a video and show you how to do that and also activate it. This video has been sponsored by CD Key Sales. You can head over here, create an account on their website. It's free to join and then look for Office 2021. You can either use the links in the video description or you can search for Office 2021 or whatever product you're looking for. Click on the item here like so. And in November, they've got a massive 35% discount if you use my promo code. So check out the uh, region area to make sure all of the flags are in your location. If you're not sure and your flag is not listed there, you can always contact them and ask them whether this key will be working in your location. It's that simple. So basically, once you're happy, click on the uh, Buy Now button. And remember, this is for Windows PCs and not for Mac computers. So hit the Buy Now button. And once you've hit Buy Now, you're going to see this window here. This is where you can add my promo code here, capital B, capital R09. And you can apply this and get up to 35% off your purchase during November. So make sure you get those quickly. As you can see, a massive discount there on that order. So all you need to do now is click on Submit Order, and then you can choose your payment method on how you want to pay for your product. So let's go ahead and click on the Submit Now. And this will give you an option to choose any of these options here. I always choose PayPal. It's a safer option. And then click on Pay Now, and then purchase your product. Once you've got your order gone through, you can then head back to CD Key Sales, and you should see on their website where it says my purchased orders and you should see your order that you've just purchased. Click on this and it will give you your product key. Head over to setup.office.com and all you need to do here is create an account. If you haven't created a Microsoft account already, then you'll need to create one. If you already have a Microsoft uh, account, you can click on sign in and sign into your account. It's that simple. So I'm going to cl click on sign in because I've already got an account with them. I've now signed in. And as you can see here, it's now asking me to put in my product key. So I would need to put in my product key here. You can see I've hidden my sign in details here so you can't see it. But it's just asking me to put in my product code here. So let me go ahead and put that in there and we can click on the next button. Once we've done this, it should check the key to make sure it's OK and it will allow you to move on to the next step. So once we've done this, it's check the key, I can click next. And what that's gonna do is tie this to your account. Choose your region and basically click next. And this should be then tied to my account. As you can see here, it's now saying uh, get your apps and you can confirm here. So product key confirmed, Office Professional Plus 2021. So basically, all I need to do now is click on the confirm, and this will then be tied to my account. As you can see here, it's going to get your apps, and this will get things ready for us so we can then download our software. So now it takes us to this page here, and you can see the products that I've purchased here. Office Professional Plus 2016, I bought that in September 26, 2017. And you can see I've also purchased Office Professional Plus 2019, which I've had on my account and I've been using. So now I've got Office Professional Plus 2021 and I'm going to go ahead and download and install this. Now, if you've got Office already, you can install this on your computer or you can uninstall and reinstall Office 2021, 20, uh, depending on which way you want to go about it. So let's go ahead and click on install here. This is going to let you choose your, choose your language here and it will allow you to choose a version which you want to download. So Office Professional Plus default version or you can hit the drop down arrow and this will allow you to choose uh, the 64-bit or 32-bit versions or you can download the offline installer i'll show you these so you can see it so let me click on the offline installer first and this is basically a office uh, iso image that is going to let us download here and you can basically use this image to install office uh, 2021 and then an activation window will come up when you click on one of the like items like Word or Excel or something like that. And it will say you need to activate. And you can then put in your product key if you want to activate it that way. 
or you can go through the other method, which is using their installer here. So click on install again, and basically you can choose another version, which is either 32-bit or 64-bit, or the default version, depending on which way you want to go about it. So let's click on 64-bit here, and I'll download and install this one. Let's click on this, click install, and you should see the little installer come down here on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. And this is going to allow us to just install it right away on the computer. So let's go ahead and do this now. And we can click on this item here straight away. And this is the office setup.exe. So let's go ahead and do this now so we can get this installed. So click on the actual item that you want to use. And you should see a little orange box popping up here. And basically what that's going to do is get a few things ready for us and get ready to install Office 2021 on our computer. So give it a bit of time to do its thing. And you should see something like this. This is because I've got Microsoft Outlook already open, so I need to close it down. I have this open, so I'm looking at mail all the time. So let me go ahead and uh, close that off and then continue. There we go. So that's now ready to go. And we should now get the prompt to install and it says here please stay online while office downloads and this is going to go ahead and start to install office on this system for us it does take a bit of time so be patient and let it download and install it on your computer so i'll speed this process up so i'll skip to the end here now microsoft already has our key because we've submitted it to our account and that means it's on our account there so basically what I'm going to do next is because I've already got Office 2019 on this system, I will then change my account over to 2021. But you yourself, what you'll need to do is open up Word and then go to your account and then it will say activate and you just click activate. It will already have your key or you can submit your key right there and then activate. As you can see here it's saying, hey Brian, let's check your system. I can then change over to Office Professional Plus 2021 here and uh, change my account over to this one here. So all I need to do here now is click on the next button and this will then change it over for me. You can see already we have the rounded edges on the actual account here. So you can see it is using the Office 2021. It says account has been changed and now we do have Office Plus um, Professional Plus 2021 on this system here. So that's all now done. And we can open this up now and basically uh, see it's been activated. It's going to accept our thing here and we're all done. Now, if you haven't done this bit yet, you will need to go to your account file uh, an account and then activate it that way. And it should be done for you. But because I've always used Office products on this system, I've just basically just changed my account over and now I'm fully activated now, remember, this 35% off is only during the month of November, so you might want to get it while it's that cheap. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big shout-out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your name is rolling up on the screen right now. Have an awesome weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.